Hey everybody, this is a little bit of something different. I was at a local store and I saw the DC Compact Comics and they had Court of Owls for Batman and Watchmen. And I heard some people wondering about them, so I thought, why not buy a couple? They were about $10 each in the US. Um, and, um, well, I give people a little bit of idea. So I'm going to give you a quick idea of their size and scale. That is a 28, um, 28 millimeter miniature. <clears throat> That's the Watchman with a coffee mug. Uh, there's the Saga of the Owls coffee mug. And if you don't like coffee, some Coke. And we're going to take a couple looks at a few pages. We're not going to go anything, do anything crazy. And then um, I'll give my opinions after that. So let's start with Watchmen, a classic by the wannabe wizard Alan Moore. Not a fan of his work, but let's just uh, let's just say the comics are actually fairly readable. Uh, they're presented in such a way that it's actually a readable thing. So we're not going to do too much. I know DC will love to strike me. And we're just going to pick a couple randomish spots. But the presentation's pretty good. Now, my concern when I initially picked these up was their readability. Um, I'm used to them being in the larger comic format. So I was like, how are they going to transition these things over into... Um, this kind of A1, I believe this is the A1 format. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is A1. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. They do have them under certain titles, like this one is Thriller, and so is this one. Um, they didn't really have too many of the ones I would have any interest in, so I like Court of Owls, and... It's Watchmen's a classic, even if I think Alan Moore is a, uh, you know, a used sock. Um, <laughs> he's a strange guy, that's all I'm going to say. But, um, if I was going to give an opinion on this, I think this is actually a smart move by DC. Because this uh, is more widely available in a way. Um, it's a good format. You're getting a complete story for the most part. One thing I kind of wish, uh, I'm not sure they have it, but uh, they do suggest other um, story collections. What I kind of wish is that they would add a page that would have all of the covers that um, were involved in that one. Just like one splash page that has them in an artistic manner. That way, if somebody wonders what it all encompasses and they're visual, they can get that real quick. But these are actually very, and this one's pretty thick for what it is, um, very readable. The price is fantastic. I think this is a good spot for them to move in and not just try to um, immediately um, compete with uh, manga. Um, because I just don't think it's a good idea for them to try to do manga themselves. It kind of defeats the format they're traditionally known for. But I think these are great because you're getting full stories. I hope some more classic storylines um, get put out. I can think of a few I'd like. But if anyone was wondering what they're like, they're pretty easy to read. Um, you can very easily easily let me just do this um flip through it casually and um heck i think they're pretty good for what they are and uh they just i thought hey i grabbed a couple of these on uh just a freaking lark and um hey you know this is what we got right now but um if you're asking me if there's some of the storylines you like and you see them in this format for ten dollars i definitely say grab it they're easy to read they're very well made and it's a good format for them to move in to sell complete stories if there's a problem 
with the comic industry right now, it is affordable, complete stories. And this is not even to go into the art in current uh, comics that you can see, which looks like a 12th grader made it. So hopefully that answers some people's questions and what these are like. They've got a good price point. We're going to flip them over one more time. Ah, so people can see that price conversion let's get real close on it it is the same on both books so no worries there but if you really want it there you go just to be sure i'm not a liar so thanks for joining me and see you next time Bye bye